Hello and welcome to 34 Tauri. Today we will be covering a, going over a story in the Science Daily uh, as to why Uranus and Neptune have different colours. Uranus, as we can see, is normally a sort of a, a very pale blue, sometimes almost green looking planet, whereas Neptune is, is distinctly more blue. Um, yes, uh, as the article points out, they have much in common. They have similar masses, sizes, and atmospheric compositions. This is largely due to the um, colour is normally due to the quantities of methane in their atmosphere, which absorb the red wavelengths of light. Astronomers have finally come up with an explanation as to why this colour difference may be. The astronomers had hoped that by developing models, they would help them, it would help them to understand how the clouds and haze in the ice giant's atmospheres worked. But in the process, they discovered a reason as to why the two planets have different colours. The model was worked on by an international team led by Patrick Irwin, Professor of Planetary Physics at Oxford University. The, pro the model developed to describe aerosol layers in the atmospheres of Neptune and Uranus. Previous investigations of these planets' upper atmospheres had focused on the appearance of the atmosphere at only specific wavelengths. However, this new model consists of multiple atmospheric layers, matches observations from both planets across a wide range of wavelengths. This new model also includes haze particles within deeper layers that had previously been thought to contain only clouds of methane and hydrogen sulfide ices. This is the first model to simultaneously fit observations of reflected sunlight from ultraviolet to near-infrared wavelengths, explained Irwin, who is the lead author of a paper presenting this result in the Journal of Geophysics, Geophysical Research, Planets. It's also the first to explain the difference in visible colour between Uranus and Neptune. The team's model consists of three layers of aerosols at different heights. The key layer that affects the colours is the middle layer, which is a layer of haze particles that is thicker on Uranus than on Neptune. The team suspects that on both planets, methane ice condenses onto the particles in this layer, pulling the particles deeper into the atmosphere in a shower of methane snow. Because Neptune has a more active turbulent atmosphere than Uranus does, the team believes that Neptune's atmosphere is more efficient at churning up methane particles into the haze layer and producing this snow. This removes more of the haze and keeps Neptune's haze layer thinner than is on Uranus, meaning the blue colour on Neptune looks stronger. This would be that the methane comes up, the methane ice comes up, it associates with the, 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 the particles in the haze layer and drags them back down deeper into the atmosphere, leaving a more crisp layer and um, colour of the planet. This model also helps explain the dark spots that are occasionally visible on Neptune and less commonly detected on Uranus. While astronomers were already aware of the presence of dark spots in the atmosphere of both planets, they didn't know which aerosol layer was causing these dark spots, or why the aerosols at those layers were less reflective. The team's research sheds light on these questions by showing that a darkening of the deepest layer of their model would produce dark spots similar to those seen on Neptune and perhaps Uranus. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. As with all YouTube channels, please feel free to like, comment, share and subscribe. I will leave links to this article down in the description. And until next time, take care.